What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another episode of this week's Fan Mail of the Week. Everybody, my name is Alex from Unview Entertainment Gaming and boy do we have a lot of questions. And uh, before I start this everybody, it, I, I, I would like to make one little suggestion. Um, it would be pretty cool to see some video uh, response questions from you guys. If you guys want to ask me a question, um, go ahead and do it in video format and send it to me. Um, I would be, you know, more than willing to put it up. Uh, that's just a little suggestion. It saves everybody time. But, uh, let's get on with our first question of the week, which is a recap question of last week. I have to answer it today because, uh, unfortunately there was a little audio mess up last week, so I couldn't really, uh, you know, answer it clearly without my second audio getting in the way. And it is from Mrs. Marissa Cares. Look at that. It's a female. Hi, Alex. I love watching your videos. You are so cute. Oh, stop it. All right, um, and here are some questions. All right, question number one. Do you think girls with highlights are attractive? Question number two. In Dragon Ball Z, the history of trunks, why didn't the Z fighters train in the hyperbolic time chamber to fight the androids? Question number three. How many hours do you work, and what time do you start and finish? Question number four. What is the typical weekend for you? Uh, thank you for answering my questions. Those are all of my questions I have for now. Hugs and kisses. All right, thank you for your question, Marissa. Um... To answer your first question, uh, what do I think of girls with highlights? I mean, I don't really have an opinion. As long as you don't have the damn Skittles rainbow in your head, then we're all good. Um, but girls with highlights, there are some girls that look very attractive with them. Other girls don't. Um, it all depends, you know, on who you are. Um, I don't, I don't really have any, uh, you know, I don't, ha I don't have anything against highlights. Um, so as long as you don't have like one side of your head pink and the other side green, I mean, that's just like, what the fuck are you trying to prove? You know what I mean? Um, but highlights, aren't they kind of bad for you? Because, uh, the more you dye your hair and the more you fuck around with it, you know, the likelihood of you going bald increases in the future. So I'm just saying, um, but me, I don't have, you know, you know, I, I don't think anything less of girls with highlights. I do think girls with highlights are attractive. Um, but it all depends on who you are, you know? Um, to answer your second question, I think um, the only reason why they didn't train in the hyperbolic time chamber to prepare for the androids is because they didn't know. It makes sense, because why would Trunks travel in the future to tell everybody, or in the past, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, why would he travel back to tell everybody what's going on if he didn't know about it, you know? So clearly, during the history of Trunks, before the androids even attacked, nobody even knew that it was going to happen. So it makes sense, because it was really unexpected, and people were just like, you know, shit, what do we do? And pretty much they all got wiped out. Um, to answer your third question, what are my hours? I work uh, eight hours a day. Um, that doesn't include uh, practice and, and going to the gym and whatnot. But um, my work schedule, I work from eight in the morning till four in the afternoon. Sometimes in my switch, sometimes I might work at uh, nine in the morning till five in the afternoon. Um, but that's just pretty much me. Um, I mean, it, it's long, it's long, hectic, it's long hectic hours. But I mean, it, it is what it is. So. Um, and to answer your last question, what is the typical weekend for me? Um, if I'm not home, I'm definitely out with my friends. Um, we pretty much all just go out, just have a good time. You know, like I, I think the little things count in life. I mean, you don't necessarily have to go to a club and do all that, all that other shit. I mean, I, I already been there, done that. So, you know, um, just pretty much going away like with friends or just doing whatever. It's like anything, anything as long as it's fun. You know what I mean? As long as everybody's having a good time. And, I mean, because you don't want to be, like, the person that's, like, there who's, like, the third wheel. You know what I mean? So, but uh, thank you for your question, Marissa. I, I would, I actually, you know what? Now that, now that I think about it, I would like to have more females ask me questions. Because it's always, it's always males, and I always get, like, the male perspective. I would like to get, like, some female feedback just to see their perspectives on some of their questions. Because it's definitely very interesting compared to the men. But uh, thank you for your question. On to the second question, which is from 2BeatboxXX9. Hey man, thanks for answering my questions from last week. Uh, you kind of misunderstood some of my questions, but fuck it. I kind of want to thank you for being such a great role model. Keep it up. Thank you, man. Question one. Uh, which would you rather be? You spelled witch wrong, by the way. You put it in a, in a phrase that, as if it's like an actual witch. Like a freaking witch with a broom. The correct term is W-H-I-C-H, not W-I-T-C-H. All right, what would you rather be? A homeless guy that would never get sick or a millionaire that would always get really sick. Like, towards the point where he always has to go to the hospital. Question two. If a movie company came up to you and asked you to be Yamcha for a movie that they're making, would you accept it? That's the question I've asked last week. Uh, question three. Have you ever been to Europe? If not, uh, where would your first place you would visit and why? Question four. Um, if you would go back in history, who would you like to meet and why? 
Question five, do you think all people are equally valuable or do you think some people in certain situations might be more valuable than others? Say a severely retarded patient versus a doctor who can potentially save humans hundreds of lives. Thanks for answering my question again. Much really appreciated. P.S. Fuck you, traffic! Fuck you, gas prices, and fuck you, cashews who chat too much. Oh, if I fucking hate that shit. They, they start talking to you about their day and shit. Like, oh my god, just give me my freaking products so I can leave. Um, to answer your first question, I, I would much rather be homeless and never get sick. Because, I mean, come on. The, the life of a homeless person is sad and all. I mean, it's just depressing as fuck. But you have no restrictions. It's like... You sleep anywhere you want. You can piss wherever you want. Take a dump wherever you want. I mean, personally, for me, if I was a homeless guy, I would probably take a dump at, like, my high school front steps and shit, and then I would proceed to go on to my friend's, like, front door, and I'll take a shit there. You know, it's just, it's just funny, because even if you go to jail or whatnot, what are they, they going to do to you? Like, jail, jail is, like, the next plausible thing to a home. You know, it's a good thing for you to get locked up, because at least you'll, they'll feed you and shit, you know? Um, but... I, I would much rather be homeless than a millionaire and get sick all the time because what's the point of you being a millionaire if you're just going to be sick all the fucking time? You know, going to the hospital back and forth. What are you, you going to do? You're just going to wallow in your own money. Um, to answer your second question, absolutely not. I think I answered that last week. I would not be Yamcha in any fucking movie. I mean, if, if I did, if, if by some chance I did play as him, I would totally fuck up the role. Like, because Yamcha is not supposed to be portrayed as, like, this hero. He's supposed to be portrayed as, like, this you know, goblin dick looking gargoyle punk bitch who can't really do anything except bitch all the time. So that's just pretty much me. Um, I, I, I would definitely play that for Yamcha. I would turn Yamcha's character into a total fucking, like, abomination of a character. Um, to answer your third question, have I ever been to Europe? No. I, I've never been to Europe. I've always wanted to go, and the first place that I've always wanted to go to was London. Um, I've always wanted to go to, like, <clears throat> the UK and whatnot, go to London, go to Amsterdam, go to you know, South London and all that kind of stuff. I always wanted to go to London first, um, just because, like, it, it's sort of closer to home in a sense because, you know, Englishmen, English people, English, America, England, you know what I mean? Um, but then if I had to pick a second location, I would probably say Australia because a lot of you guys are from Australia and just Australia seems like it's such a chill place. It's like, when was the last time you ever seen on the local news, Australia declares war? That's just the, j the joke. Imagine if, was, if they did. Come on, they're like a peaceful little fucking country. So it's just like, you go over there, you have fun, you just do what you gotta do. Um, to answer your last question, well, your fourth question, actually, sorry. Um, if I can go back in history, who would I meet? I would meet, I would want to meet John F. Kennedy because um, I feel like he's the greatest president that ever lived. And uh, he was doing all the right things until, accordingly so... He was executed and assassinated uh, via false flag. And I do feel like that shit was set up because the things that he was doing was so profound that the people above him didn't want that. So um, who else would I meet? I would love to meet. Uh, who else would I fucking like to meet? Damn, there's so many people. I would like to meet Hitler just so I could spit on him or at least make him pissed off just so I could see like his like his anger like, just boil out, like, you know, like, have you ever, have you ever seen any one of his rants, it's like, Chamushin, that's, that's, that's all he ever fucking does, and it's just so funny when you see that, it's just like, really, and like, when he goes on his little rants, I don't know if you notice, but his hair moves back and forth, like, it's so funny, he, he can get on stage and he can say the most absurd of things, but it's just comedical to me, just, he goes on, he goes, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me, and it's just like, he looks like a total dick. And it's just, I would love to go back and just like piss him off just to see his little rants. And then I'd probably throw him in a freaking jail cell or some shit and make him, you know, jack off to a monkey or something. I don't know. Um, and if there had to be another person I would like to meet, I would like to meet probably, uh, shit, who the fuck would I like to meet? I would like to meet a hundred people right now, not one coming to mind. Uh, probably, uh, probably Martin Luther King. Uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, I would love to meet him because uh, he always had an interesting uh, uh, philosophy, so I would love to see that and just get his points of views on things. Um, to answer your last question, I, I think everybody is equal, um, but some people choose not to be equal. And what I mean by that is lifestyle, influence. Um, say right now, if me and you started off on the right path, you know, we're both born, you know, as boys, whatever, and we grow up to be men. You might take one path, I might take another, you know, we're equal as in terms of stature, like human beings, you know, I have blood, you have blood, you have eyeballs, I have eyeballs, um, 
but in terms of influence, if you're brought up in different places, you're going to be brought up different and you're going to, you know, portray yourself as being, you know, higher or lower in life. Um, for example, the lower class is always people who like do drugs and get high on heroin and just junkies pretty much. Like I I'm not classifying like classes as in like rich people, middle people, poor people. No, I'm classifying that as choices. High classes like going to school, college, getting a master's degree in, 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 in freaking kinesiology or, you know, uh, astrophysiology and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, but it, it's one's path. It's one's direction. It's one's influence and it's one's environment. Um, but everybody to me is equal. I mean, I'm no different than you, right? I mean, I'm a guy. You're a guy. What makes us different? I have a YouTube channel. So what? Big deal. We're still human beings, right? So that's just that's what I'm getting at. But um, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is what's his name? What's his name? Super Rich on my guy, FJF Jack. All right, uh, this is where we submit our questions. If so, I would like to start off by saying hi. Hello. Now on to the queue. Question one: Why haven't they shown the the, the console for the PS4? You spelled console wrong, by the way. And why'd you put two E's in the in in, in the question? Oh, whatever. All right, I, I get your question though. Question two. Uh, which one do you think will be better, PS4 or Xbox One? Question three, do you sing? Can you sing something in your best voice? Uh, well, that is it for now, hee hee hee. We, you're awesome, and sing this. You're the best around. Oh, my God, I'm not singing that. Nothing can I have a put you down. No, I'm not doing that. Okay, okay until next time, I'm going to say again. All right, um, to answer your first question, I do feel like it's like the Sony revealed all the games and Microsoft revealed all the entertainment side. Now I feel like when E3 rolls around, it's going to be reversed. Uh, Sony's also going to show off their entertainment side, and Xbox and Microsoft are going to show off their gaming side. Um, why haven't they shown the PS4? Maybe it's because they were waiting to see what um, you know Microsoft has cooking up just to see their architecture and just see their design first. Um, but personally, for me, that's just... I feel like they were just waiting for the right moment. Um... So, they're going to show it at E3, so it doesn't really matter at this point. It's just, you know. Uh, to answer your second question, which one will be better? Uh, you, you just put me in that situation. Um, I really don't know. I mean, I can't really I'm, I'm going to get both consoles. Is one going to be superior than the other? Perhaps. But we can't we can't be the judge of that just yet. We're going to have to wait until we get the actual console <clears throat> or consoles to see where we stand. Um, but personally, for me, in the beginning, I had PlayStation. Later on in life, I got the Xbox. So, I've been playing Xbox for years now. I love PlayStation to death. We're just going to have to wait and see. I mean, this is going to be something. I swear to God, I haven't I haven't seen this much tension since like 2005 when they first dropped. And uh, do I sing? You know, I cannot sing for the life of me. So, I can't really, uh, you know, sing for you because I can't sing. Sorry. But uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from ALA Studios. Hey, Alex, it's me again. I'm back with more questions, which I have spent some time thinking or rather than wasting your time with pointless questions. So anyway, let's do it. By the way, before you start answering or start asking questions, I saw your videos, by the way. I saw Omega Shenron throw the spirit bomb. I saw Vegito and Gogeta fight. Let me just say, that shit is fucking awesome. You're doing a good job, man. I swear to God. Good job. If only you could figure out a way how to mod Raging Blast. That would be awesome. Or maybe Ultimate Tenkaichi. Oh, Jesus. Can you imagine that shit? All right. Question number one. Uh, it has been announced that the new Assassin's Creed movie will come out in 2015. What is your opinion on the Assassin's Creed games and the Assassin's Creed movie? Question number two. Uh, what do you think of the new Batman? Well, what do you think of the Batman Arkham games? Uh, have you seen the trailers for Batman Arkham Origins, which comes out later this year? Question three. Do you believe in the multiverse theory? Question four. Uh, if you knew you were about to die in 30 seconds time and your body would just be stuck in the last position you were in when you lit when you were alive, what pose or position would you take? Do you really want to know that shit? Um, question five, did you hear about the recent Islamic terrorist attack in Woolwich, London, which a soldier was publicly butchered and beheaded? Yes, I did actually. Uh, and if you did, what are your thoughts on it? Question six, uh, do you think capital punishment should be brought back? and used as punishment for crimes like murder and one dbz question question seven uh how would you have want vegeta to achieve super saiyan 3 i would i would have loved it if he went super saiyan 3 in battle of gods when bills hit boma uh but i think vegeta should not just achieve this form from training but for a selfish reason a selfless reason 
uh, like out of love for his family and friends. That's very interesting. Uh, and anyway, Alex, did you watch my Majin? Yes, I did. Uh, it's okay if you didn't. I would like to know your opinion on it. And also uh, said that I should do Majin Goku. I've done that already, LOL. I did kind of a what if video Ma if Goku goes Majin instead of Vegeta using the final explosion against Vegeta. I saw that actually. Why is it like flickering back and forth? That That's what I don't understand about your videos. Like all the characters sometimes, they're like flickering. I don't, I don't get that. Um, anyways, Alex, thanks again for answering my questions. And thank you for your amazing content to produce on a daily basis. Keep carrying on, great guy. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. You're, you're also a great man too. Just try to like lower that flickering shit. Because as I was watching it, I was like fucking flickering. And, and then it seems like I'm watching it in like slow mode kind of. Like the action kind of slows down. But anyways, uh, to answer your first question, what do I think of Assassin's Creed? The first one fucking sucked. The first of the crap Assassin's Creed game sucked so much dick that it totally drew me out. I never played Brotherhood. I never played two. Um, I played three because I got it because of all the you know hype and all the reviews. I loved it. It got me back into Assassin's Creed. What do I think of the movie? If they follow up from the first game, it's going to suck. Um, you know, I, it's going to be interesting to see because uh, I, I don't know if they're going to incorporate Desmond or if they're going to use a whole another character in general. Like we don't know what's going on. So as of right now, my opinions for the Assassin's Creed movie are: if they stick with the original formula then it will work if they totally go off and they fucking decide to do like this whole shabacle of like craziness and just stupidity then the movie is gonna fail real badly um to answer your second question uh what do i think of the arkham games i have uh arkham city i don't have arkham asylum um and i have saw the new arkham origins uh trailer and it looks amazing when he fought when batman fought deathstroke holy shit um i do wish bane was in the game though but one can only dream right um, but Arkham Origins, it, it's going to be a great game. You can just already see that. Batman looks jacked. Deathstroke looks like a beast. So I'm, I'm personally going to get that. Uh, to answer your third question, what uh, do I believe in the multiverse theory? Um, again, it's a theory. So it's not proven yet. But if you just think about the universe and the galaxies and shit like that, <clears throat> who's to say that there's not? I mean, personally, if I had to answer your question straightforward, yes, I do believe in a multiverse theory. Um, because because who are scientists? Who the fuck are scientists to say, oh, nope, there's only one universe? Motherfucker, shut up, all right? That's like saying there's only one galaxy. You don't know shit. You don't know what's out there. You know, like, just Jesus Christ. Th there are so many vast things out there that we don't even know about. It's, it's kind of sad. I mean, we all fight and we all just, like murder each other and commit rape and incest and genocide on this planet but yet we can't put our fucking brains together to go find out what's out there it's, it's kind of pathetic if you ask me um to answer your fourth question what position would i be in i would have i would lay on my back like lift my legs up spread them have my hand next to my crotch and just like die right there so when the cops walk in they're gonna see a man with his legs up in the air laying down with his hand on his penis and then they'll wonder how he died probably premature ejaculation or something um to answer your fifth question yes i heard about the terrorist attack the two black guys who were claimed to be muslims who killed uh, a soldier this is what i don't get like one of the guys was like oh uh i apologize to all the women and children for seeing this but in my land p women die all the time people die all the time and you know the the british people they kill our people all the time so he deserved it let me ask you a question what did that one specific guy do like to just provoke such anger you know it's like i'm sure that there are you know you know english soldiers and you know uk soldiers that are killing muslims in the middle east but what was that one guy doing that really fucking like just because he had a uniform on d didn't mean that he killed someone um for all you know he could have been a muslim you don't know that i mean you know there, there are different types of muslims and uh it's something that I mean. I have a Muslim friend, and when I asked him about when I asked him about Allah, he said that Allah and Muhammad never intended uh, murder, because in in the Quran it says that all, uh, you know, all of all the Muslims, everybody's pretty much brothers and sisters, and you do what you need to do to please God. But the, I mean, just I'm, that's what he told me. I'm not 100 percent sure on that. Don't quote me on that. But, um. What did he, what did that guy achieve by doing that? He he beheaded a, another human being in the middle of the street, and nobody did anything to help. That's what's fucked up. Nobody did anything to help. 
Just because you see a guy with a knife and a hatchet, you know, you're just going to let him behead somebody? Nah, man. I'd rather get stabbed and live and try to help somebody than just have that conscience, like, just eat away at me. Um... To answer your sixth question, capital punishment. I think it should be brought back, but not just for murder. I mean, like, because what if I murder somebody out of self-defense to defend my family, right? Am I going to get killed for that? There should be, like, certain trials and stipulations and just rules to, like, capital punishment. Let's say if you commit genocide, war crimes, if you raped, like, freaking 50 people, then, yeah, you deserve capital punishment. Um, If one person kills another person... Then no, I don't think they believe. I don't think they deserve capital punishment at all. Um, but if it was like a, <clears throat> if it was uh, what's his name, uh, the dude from Virginia Tech who killed 32 people, if it was you know the Columbine shooters, if it was you know James Holmes that shot up the Aurora Theater, if it was that one dude who shot up that little elementary school, then yes, those people deserve capital punishment, capital execution. But for murder alone. No, I don't think so. Um, and to answer your last uh, last question, how would I like Vegeta to achieve Super Saiyan 3? For me, I would have loved to see uh, Bills legitly beat up Vegeta to the point where he just, like, he, he knows that he can't push it anymore. And then Goku comes along and he turns into a Super Saiyan 3. And he can hold up, you know, with Bills just a little bit before he gets beat up too. And Vegeta's like, how come I can't reach that? How come I can't do anything? So he challenges him again and loses... And then that's when Bulma, you know, comes to Vegeta's aid, and then Bills is like, pretty much, move out the way, bitch, and just, like, knocks her out of some shit, and, 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 that, and that's what triggers it, you know? That's what makes Vegeta unleash his Super Saiyan 3 potential. I mean, that's just something that's been, like, you know, in, in the process, in the making for so long. Like, come on, Akira Toriyama, we want Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta! Shit, man. But thank you for your question, man. Always a pleasure. On to the next question, which is from, what the hell is that, SpongeBob? Canano 7! Yo, bro, good to be back. Good to be back, my friend. I really look forward to your videos, especially the fan mail of the week. I thank you and respect your consistency, man. By the way, what do you think of my avatar, Thorbob? Here are my questions. Well, that's what I'm like, what the fuck is that? Does SpongeBob have a beard? He's Thorbob. All right, um, question number one. Which of the world's wonders would you want to visit? Uh, okay. Question two. What are some of the worst things about living in the States? Because I want to travel and have a road trip in the States, so a little heads up would be great. Perhaps we can even meet. Question three. Uh, what are some amazing military tech we don't know about? Oh, shit. Uh, question four. What is the stupidest thing you've convinced your friends to be true? Okay. Question five. Uh, what are some of the most unpredictable things in life? Or is it? Oh, unappreciated. Sorry. Unappreciated things in life. Uh, question six. What travel hacks have you saved? Wait, what travel hacks have saved you a lot of money? Uh, question seven, what are some of mankind's stupidest concepts? Question eight, uh, what if there was no distractions in life such as TV or movies? How would our lives and social or, or society look like? Uh, and by distractions, I mean everything that keeps us away from achieving our dreams and goals. Very interesting. Uh, question nine, let's say that Vince pisses... Donald Trump so bad that Trump openly declares war on Vince and WWE. Trump buys TNA, ROH, PWG, oh shit, uh, and some other top indie promotions and gathered it, calling it F, was it FYV? Fuck you, Vince. He would fire all the BS wrestlers and politicians like Hogan and Bischoff, and they would hire actual people who would have understanding of the business and who can write decent storylines. What do you think that Trump's new promotion would give to WWE a run for its money? Uh, I cannot wait for your answers, man. Keep up the good work, Alex. You are the reason I am on YouTube oh, nowadays. Keep up the beast mode, peace. Um, to answer your first question, World Wonders, I would love to go and visit the... Uh, mm, this is kind of hard. I mean, there's a lot of World Wonders, but what would I want to see? There's so many. Um, I, I would want to go on the highest mountain, all the way on the tippy top. And just pretty much like let out like a giant rocky scream. Drago! Like, no, well, I'm not going to say Drago, but I'm just going to like say something really stupid. Like, squeeze! And then, like, I mean, God knows, probably an avalanche would kill me. But um, I, I would say the top of the highest mountain, probably Mount Everest or something like that. Um, to answer your second question, what are some of the worst things about living in the States? Depending on where you live, my friend, everything is expensive. New York, don't ever go to, don't ever try to live in New York because it is expensive as shit. For those of you out there who live in the state of New York, and you guys know exactly what I'm talking about, especially in the city. 
Um, this shit is expensive as fuck, and it's just not worth it. Um, places like New York, California, they're really expensive. So, uh, road trip, a little heads up. Um, try to avoid uh, using gas. Like, just try to. Well, I, I would say first save your money just to have gas, because if you're gonna travel through the states, you need you need gas, obviously. Um, also, try to uh, make sure that you don't fall asleep in the middle of nowhere and just park in the middle of nowhere and just think that nobody will ever be out there to try to kill you or some shit. Like, meaning don't fall asleep and pull over in the side of the road and fall asleep in your car just to wake up the next morning and continue driving because that could be a rude awakening. Um, a road trip would be great. I was planning with my, well, I was planning one with my friends this year, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, but meeting you, I mean, I, I wouldn't mind. That'd be great. Um, question number three, what are some high tech military gear that we don't know? I mean, we don't know about a lot of shit, man. Think about it. What, let me, let me ask you something. What is the one thing the government is good at? They're good at keeping secrets, right? They're, they're good at keeping information from the public for their own benefit, right? Quote unquote. But if you just think about it for one second, we have such great technology now, like the Xbox one and PS4 and the iPhone and, and the smart TVs and shit. But that's all so small compared to, like, what they really have, you know? I'm sure they have, like, invisibility technology where they're able to, like, you know, uh, maneuver in, like, be, while being invisible. Um, along with, like, some amazing technology in terms of weaponry, uh, suits that can probably withstand explosions and, you know, fire and all that other shit, you know what I mean? It's just, there's, there's so many things out there that we don't know about that I wish we knew about just to get some closure, but... You know how the government is. Uh, to answer your fourth question, what is the stupidest thing I've convinced my friends to be true? Uh, hmm. I don't really convince my friends about anything that's stupid, but uh, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think, I'm trying to think. Hmm. Oh, I told my friend one time that in order for him to like, cause he wants to bulk up, so I was like, hey, if you want to bulk up, uh, the best thing to do is just eat cheeseburgers. And he pretty much bought into it and he got kind of fat and I felt bad. He lost the weight eventually, but it was just like, yeah, I want to get big. So I was like, yeah, eat cheeseburgers. And he started eating to the point where he grew tits. And I was like, oh, you're getting fat, man. I was just playing. That shit don't get you weight. He was like, you motherfucker. Like, it, it was just really bad. But I, I would say that, really. Um, to answer your fifth question, what are some of the most unappreciated things in life? Um, parents. People don't respect their parents anymore. People don't love their parents anymore. Um... Not that it's just in the Bible, respect thou mother and father, but you only have one mother and one father. Um, granted, some of you may not, you know, may not have, a, you know, either. I only have a mom, and you know that relationship with them will never die out. You know, despite you know all the head bumps you guys have and all the arguments and fighting, they were the ones that took care of you and brought you into this world. Granted, some people aren't as fortunate; their parents abandoned them. Um, and it's pretty sad, but that's just one for me as parents. People don't appreciate their parents nowadays. Um, the second unappreciated thing is faith. Nobody has faith anymore. This is like a godless world. Everybody's just doing off, doing whatever the fuck they want. And by that, they're like, you know, pretty much disregarding life. When they see somebody get fucked up in the street, instead of helping them, they pull out their phone and they record it and they put on, they put it on YouTube or World Star Hip Hop. Um... You know, it's, it's just pretty sad to see how unappreciated things are. And then if you try to go out of your way and help someone, they totally just shit all over you, you know. So that I think I think gratitude is unappreciated as well. Uh, to answer your sixth question, what are some travel hacks that saved me money? Expedia.com. That shit saved me money when I went traveling. Um, certainly you might want to check that out. But for me, uh, what saved me a lot of money was uh, when we used to go, uh, you know, uh, and travel. We would pack food in our car, like in the trunk, just to have like, if if we're going far, like you know, get some you know liquid like water and Gatorade and shit, and you know if we had time, we would buy like uh, ramen noodles and make sandwiches and shit, have like a little cooler in the trunk just in case, you know, because that shit saves you money on food. Um, to answer your seventh question, what are some of mankind's stupidest concepts? Um, believing that anything is possible to a certain extent when people say oh yeah anything is possible really so jump off a mountain and tell me if you can fly i mean you say it's possible right so just go ahead and try um but one of its most stupidest concepts is believing that 
um, pretty much this world is peaceful. That's what I think is a very stupid concept. This world, as sad as it is, it's not peaceful. Nowhere near peaceful. Um, too much war, too much bloodshed, too much murder, too much rape. It's very sad, man. If I was God, trust me, I would... Mm. It, it's kind of sad sometimes, but... Uh, to answer your eighth question, uh, I think life would be perfect. Because we wouldn't have any distractions to keep us home all the time. We wouldn't have any negative uh, assumptions about things and people itself. Uh, I think mankind and people in general would, you know, help each other a lot more than just sit around and just neglect them and just talk down on them and think that they're superior. Um, society would be thriving because everybody would be doing something very good, you know. Um, but that's just my opinion. And to answer your last question, out of all people, Donald fucking Trump. Um, if he were to ever do that, um, I don't think he would call it fuck you, Vince. But I do think he'd probably just buy out TNA. I don't see it as where buying Ring of Honor would really make a, a difference, so to say, or PWG. But for him to buy TNA and fire all the fucking politicians and shit like Hogan and Bischoff and everybody and replacing them with like great writers and firing all the BS wrestlers, then yeah, that would give the WWE... Actually, now that I think about it, if you think about it, that would give the WWE such a, such a huge run for their money because... Where would they go after that? You know what I mean? It's like they have to compete, and Donald Trump would not spare any expense. That guy would go the distance. But uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from Morgan Chap. Hello, Alex. I have some questions for you. Question one. Have you seen the new crossover with Toriko and One Piece and Dragon Ball Z? If not, here you go. All right. Uh, question two. If your mom... Wait. If your mom and your wife were about to die and you had to save one, who would you choose? Damn it, I hate when you guys do this. Question three, uh, have you noticed you say, okay, what? If you haven't, take a look at your Dragon Ball Z HD collection, you say like a hundred times. Oh, like, oh, that's what you're talking about. <laughs> P.S. Keep up the good work. All right. Um, to answer your first question, I haven't seen it still. I've seen little bits and pieces of it. I typed in uh, One Piece slash Dragon Ball Z uh, AVI uh, tribute or uh, pretty much, what is it, like, um, highlights and they would show like some pretty like nifty stuff um but other than that I, I haven't seen the actual like clip or movie or whatever so uh to answer your second and most difficult question um as fucked up as this may seem i might save my mom because remember like it, uh, damn it like if your wife dies you can always go off and marry somebody else but if you save your wife and your mom dies remember you only have one mom, so. But then again, that's just, that, that's just a very, that's just very hard for me to decide, man. Um, Jesus Christ, it, it, it's something that I wouldn't want to imagine. And to answer your last question, I do notice that I say braga because I'm doing it right now, braga. All right, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from uh, Let's Spot a War Seven Eight Nine. Hi, I'm Ruben Tammy Gaming. I'm back with questions, and let's see if you can answer them. All right, what is this like a trivial question? You know, I, I started Fan Mail of the Week just to, like, get questions, like, legitimate questions from you guys. But now it is, it's, it's become, like, this trivial pursuit. It's like, if you don't answer this, you're dead. Like, what the fuck? All right, question one. Uh, what do you think of the new Windows 8, good or bad? Question two. Instead of Bills and Whis, which one of the strongest characters Goku has been fighting other than... Oh, so you're saying who was other... Who who besides Bills and Whis was stronger uh, and, and more difficult for Goku to fight? Question three. Which part of your life is boring? P.S. Fuck you, Yamcha! P.S.S. Goku is a beast. P.S.S. Go Minecraft. All right. Um, to answer your first question, I haven't used it. Um, to be honest with you, I'm still I'm still on Windows Seven, so um, I I don't really know what Windows Eight is all about. Like, I don't know what's the pros and the cons about it, so I can't really make that that distinction. Um, I'm really loving Windows Seven. Window. I I've had Windows Seven ever since I started. Um. But Windows 7 is actually very smooth to use. Um, so for me, I don't have a problem with it. So I can just imagine Windows 8 is a lot better. So yeah, good. Um, to answer your second question, difficult. Um, difficult in terms of solo, it would probably be... Probably everybody. I mean, fuck. Um, among Cell, Frieza, and Kid Buu. I would say I would say Kid Buu because if he hadn't gotten his powers restored, he would have been dead. If if the if fucking Purunga never got his powers back, Goku would have been dead. All of you guys know that. I mean, even if Vegeta was able to buy him some time so Goku can recover back into a Super Saiyan three, 
he'd still be he'd still get the shit beat out of him. Like there is absolutely no way Goku would have survived that fight without Purunga and Hercule and freaking Dende. So and to answer your last question, what part of my life is boring? Um may, probably having to edit fan mail of the week, because that thing it takes forever. You can imagine, like sometimes these things can go for two, three hours. So I have to sit here additionally to like edit everything and it's just like oh jesus christ no but uh thank you for your question man on to the next question which is from luke jamaya hey man this is getting fun asking you questions and hearing your opinion thanks for these vids yeah you're welcome i started these things like 23 weeks ago so you can imagine um <clears throat> question one have you ever been so angry you couldn't think straight if so why and what did you do because of it Question two, uh, what would you think the most meaningful thing you've ever done in your life? Question three, if you could change one thing about your past, what would it be? Question four, if there were two charts of people, one chart with 20 people in it, you have know who they are. Wait, don't you mean I don't know who they are, what they've done or what they've been going through? They could be serial killers or the most humble slash nice people on the planet. The other chart has your mother, siblings, and people you hold close in your heart. Uh, but this chart only has five people in it. You choose your five favorite people ever. Um, and you choose, and you could only save one chart of people. The other chart of people will die. Which chart would you choose? Uh, question five, what is the saddest moment of your life and how did it affect you? Question six, uh, do you have a good agility slash speed? Mostly muscle guys don't, I guess that's because you're implying because you're not, wait, I guess this doesn't apply to you because you're not muscly. Oh, trust me, I'm muscly. Have you not seen that video, bro? I'm 200 pounds. I'm, I'm increasing. What the hell? Uh, question seven. Uh, have you ever taken topless... What is it? Oh, like topless photos and put it on myself? You're making it sound like I'm a girl. Like just taking topless photos of myself. Like, yeah, I got bad tits. Question eight. Uh, if we give Akira Toriyama like $400 million, do you think he's going to make a new Dragon Ball Z series? That's a lot of fucking money. I'm pretty sure he can make like 20 Dragon Ball series with that fucking my account of money. Uh, what do you reckon it will take to get him to make one? P.S. I uh, had to throw in a DBZ in there. I know how much you love those. P.S.S. You're actually pretty muscular. Yeah, see, I fucking knew it. All right. Um, to answer your first question, I don't remember. Um, but I do recall one moment where I got really angry. Um... <clears throat> It was over a girl, like, I think, uh, she pretty much played the shit out of me, and, like, pretty much while I was talking to her, she was talking to somebody else behind my back, and she was pretty much leading me on, uh, her name was Charlene, and that shit got me so pissed off that I couldn't even think straight, I swear to God, um, what did I do in response, I forgot what exactly I did, I probably just, what did I do, I remember I got so mad, I know, I actually, I punched my friend for being too obnoxious the following the following couple of hours. I remember he came over and he kept fucking talking about Gears of War. And I was like, yo, shut the fuck up. Like, don't talk to me right now. Like, I'm really... He was like, oh, yo, look at me. So I remember I punched him and I fell back because we were about to fight. And then my friend Omar had to, like, pretty much stop. He was just like, you guys got to, like, chill out. And then it, it took a lot to calm me down because I was just like, I didn't want to hear it. And he kept egging it on. So, uh, sorry, Justin. To answer your second question, um... What would you think the most meaningful thing you've ever done in your life? I do a lot of meaningful things every day. I have a lot of respect even for strangers. Um, but meaningful, I mean, I, I'm not the one to decide that. You know what I mean? Um, I, I'm not going to sit here and gloat about all the good things I've done. Because certainly I've done more bad things than good. But um, meaningful, that's not for me to decide. That's for other people to decide. Um, I, I'm a very gracious person. I'm a very humble person. Um, so it just, it all depends on where I stand and where you stand. You know what I mean? Uh, to answer your third question, if I can change one thing about my past, what would it be? It would have to be, uh, not joining a gang, not smoking, not drinking. Uh, especially drinking. That shit fucked me up at times. Oh my God. When I used to get drunk, holy shit. Um, what else would that be? Oh, I would go back and stop myself from meeting half of these freaking idiotic sluts that I know today that pretty much have done me dirty in the past. It's just like... Oh fucking a! Like, I like I'll I'll start naming them right now because I can care less. Um, there was a girl named Alyssa, a girl named Charlene, a girl named Julia, a girl named Sanella, a girl named uh, who the fuck was it? Julie. So many other people. It's just like fuck those bitches, man. Uh, to answer your fourth question, um, I would have to save the ones with my mother and my friends and all that shit because I mean, I, honestly. 
it's a very stupid question because it's like that would never happen. But if I had to save a chart of people, man, it would definitely be like my friends and my family. Because like you said, those other people can be anybody's. You know, they can be serial killers, humble people. Um, for, if, if it was up to me, I'll save both groups. But um, you're saying if I had to choose my five favorite people ever, who would I place in it? Um, <clears throat> all right, let's see. This is kind of hard. Um, my mom... My friend Stefan, Justin, Omar, and if I had to pick a last person, it would be Jason. So those are my five people. Um, to answer your fifth question, what is the saddest moment of my life and how did it affect me? Um, it's not that, you know, even, even if it's the saddest thing in the world, it wouldn't really affect me as much. I mean, it might affect me for like a day or two, but it wouldn't affect me like forever. I, w I wouldn't dwell on it. Um, but certainly I've had lots of sad moments. Um... Some in which case I'm not going to say, but uh, very, very, you know, just very sad and griefing moments. Um, you know, it's never it's never a good feeling, but uh, certainly for me, it, it never affected me in any negative way. So that's just that. Um, to answer your sixth question, I can say yes and no for that. Um, <clears throat> my cardio, it's all right, so to say. I've been working on that for like the last couple of, uh, couple of weeks. Um what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to increase size. I'm trying to increase muscle. Um, but at the same time, being able to keep my speed. Um, <clears throat> as for agility, uh, I'm probably more faster. I'm definitely fast, but agility-wise, uh, I'm going to have to work on that. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and be like, yeah, I have great agility and great speed. My speed is very good, and my agility is decent, so to say. You know what I mean? Um but that's just me. I want to increase muscle, so I'm going to do what I have to do. Uh, to answer your seventh question, who hasn't ever taken a topless picture of themselves? Seriously, I'm going to go down to the next question. Um, and to answer your eighth question, what would I reckon to get him to make one? Um, demand for it. Just like how we demanded Battle of Gods in English, and now they're in the process of buying the license. Do the same thing. Demand for a series after after the movie drops in America, and we will be good. Um Personally, for me, I would uh, if if he ever has like a, one of those um, one of those tours where he gets to sign stuff and whatnot, I would definitely go out there and pay him a visit. I'd be like, hey, listen, Akira, there's a guy named Unreal Entertainment Gaming. He's he made everybody sign a petition saying that they want more Dragon Ball Z. I want Dragon Ball Z. We all want more Dragon Ball Z. Here are some ideas. Here are some topics. Blah blah blah. I mean, Akira Toriyama needs motivation. He's even admitted that before. Like the only reason why he stopped was because he had no motivation. So. That's pretty much why, you know, he stopped doing what he was doing. But damn it, Akira, if you kept going on, you could have been like a billionaire, you fucking guy. All right, but thank you for your question, man. Oh, boy, on to the next question, which is from the Black Superman. What's up, man? Love your videos and your channel. Here are some questions for you. All right, question one. Uh, do you have or ever heard of Dragon Ball Art, the app? It has some of the most amazing Dragon Ball picks out there and that are very original. It costs $1 updates with picks every day and already has over 3,000 pictures uploaded. If you get a chance, check it out. Let us know what you think. All right, cool. Question two. Do you think it would be interesting if they made a Slender Man movie and would you watch it? Question three. Uh, how good do you think a game would be if they were to make it where all games were virtual reality? Uh, you had a headset, and if you could see anything you like uh, were in there in the world to play. For example, to walk slash run, just walk or run in place, and then just turn front, back, left, or right for directions. Uh, having sensory on your feet and hands and can just move totally freely fighting and doing whatever your character is actually doing. This could be a great way to enjoy video games and also get a good, great workout. Uh, in doing all these things while playing the game. Question four, uh, I have a very good friend that is a girl and I've lost contact with. We used to have a thing for each other, but sadly never came out and told any other. Uh, at this point in time, I know she's married now, but I would love to get back in contact with her. Not try to get with her or mess up anything between her and her husband, but just to catch up and see how she's doing. Uh, I've texted her a few times about over a three month period and I never received anything back. Uh, I think this might be because she is a little scared to get in contact with me because of the, all the feelings that were between us. Because she used to do similar things as well before she got married. Uh, she really means a lot to me and I don't want to lose my friend. 
Uh, how would you go about the situation if you was me? Thanks for answering, man, uh, and taking your time out to answer all these questions. You are truly one of a kind. Thank you, man. Um, to answer your first question, I'm definitely going to check it out when I get my phone back. Um, I had to go give my phone over to T-Mobile because uh, I, I hated my previous uh, provider. It, my previous provider was an independent company called H2O, and I didn't have unlimited shit. So I, ha I still had like 2G or whatever. That shit was garbage. So I, I gave it to T-Mobile to a good friend of mine so he can like pretty much break my phone and uh, unlock it and pretty much do all this other shit and get me a new plan uh, with 4G unlimited everything so that's what I'm waiting on but as soon as I get my phone back I'm definitely going to check out the Dragon Ball app art app and see how that it is uh, to answer your second question a Slender Man movie um, that all depends on who that that's actually pretty hard because I, I, I'm scared that you know, something like that might turn into a movie like The Boogeyman or something. You guys remember that? The Boogeyman? Oh, God, I was just fucking awful. Um, but with the right director and the right, you know, production and the right actors and actresses, yeah, Slender, uh, a Slender Man movie would be, would, would be great. Um, but I don't know. It's just like a lot of video game related movies. I mean, you know the deal. They all suck. Um, there might have been a few exceptions, but Slender Man, the movie, uh, I, I think one day we're gonna see something like that, but not for a while. Um, but if it, if they were to make it, you know, I would definitely go check it out. Um, to answer your third question, virtual reality video games, um, it is proven that it could exist, but the possibilities of you, uh, you know, having cancer or tumors after that just drastically increases. Um, we do have the technology to have stuff like that, like virtual, uh, you know, reality and virtual games and whatnot. It's been proven by scientists. Um, but it's, it's also proven that, uh, with high doses of radiation traveling through your brain and whatnot, it's faster than a photon. So you, you would generate massive amounts of cancer and tumors and, you know, God knows what other kind of health, you know, unhealthy diseases and whatnot. Um, but the possibility of that happening in the future where they also prevent you from getting cancer and whatnot would be great. You know what I mean? But I don't see games like that ever happening until maybe, 100 150 to maybe 200 years from now um honestly we're still in that age where we're you know holding remotes which is good you know i mean i like that you know everybody loves loves to hold remotes you know um you know you, you look at something you, you actually look at something like the wii u and the wii u cannot compare to the ps3 and uh you know xbox 360 or the wii itself you know so uh the possibility of that, you know, I, I would love it because I would love to play like certain games in real life like Call of Duty and Gears of War and Halo and Dragon Ball Z and WWE and all that other good stuff, you know, NBA and, uh, you know, Killzone and Infamous and Prototype and, you know, all that good stuff, you know, but unfortunately now is definitely not the time, so, uh, and to answer your last question, um, dude, Whew, um, maybe, alright, there, there's a couple of plausible scenarios for this, um, maybe she changed her number, that's why when you text her, uh, you're not getting anything back because she changed her number, um, maybe she is getting your texts, but completely erased her contacts, so she doesn't know who you are, um, or maybe you might be right, you know, maybe she's avoiding you because, She's scared that, uh, you know, something might go down or, you know, feelings might get involved or whatnot. I understand exactly where you're coming from because you love her as a friend. But you got to understand that females are like that. And, um, I mean, honestly, uh, the only way for you to get any closure is to just find out for yourself by trying to see her in person, you know. If, if by sheer coincidence you do see her in person... Rather than being like, you know, geeky about it and just happy, which you should be, um, just try to ask, like, you know, where you guys stand as, as friends, you know, just ask her, hey, am I still your friend? You know, I, I respect you and I admire you and I don't want to lose you as a friend and please stay and whatnot. Like, you know what I mean? You don't want to be like a, a selfish person and say, oh, well, all right, so like, are, are you my friend or what's going on? Like, you know, it's just that that's just... But um, definitely find out where you stand between her if you can get a chance to see her in person. But if not, then um, I, I, I would try calling her if I were you. But if that doesn't work either, then, you know, there's nothing else you can do, man. I mean, sometimes, you know, the hardest thing to do in life is to possibly let go. So um, I, I know the feeling of that. I remember uh, I was in, in, in the same situation, but except this girl wasn't married. And uh, she would never reply to me. She would never even talk to me anymore. So I was just like, you know what? Some things you just have to let go in life. So, 
But thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from Grievous Rider 22. Hey, Alex, it's me. Okay, now on to the questions. Question one Did you know if you hold shift and press a letter, it would be in caps? Oh, you don't say. Question two SS Bardock versus SS Goku. Uh, question three When you had sex, how was it? Question four Squids versus Yamcha. Question five Skull Rush or 13 or Inquiry Raps or T Pain or Little Wayne. What the hell? Uh, question six If you were to rape anyone in DBZ, who would it be besides Bulma? And last but not least, what is your favorite number? P.S. P.S.S. Fuck you, Sam Squirrel. Um, to answer your first question, uh, well, I mean, not really a question, but yes, I did know that. Uh, to answer your second question, I believe Goku all the way because he is a much more experienced fighter. He is a much more gifted fighter. You can clearly see that in his techniques and whatnot. So, to answer your third question, uh, sex. When the last time I had it was, well, I'm not gonna tell you when the last time I had it was, but. It was it was really really good. Um, sex is always good. You create dopamine in your brain. Your you know your hormones are just flying all over the place. It's it's, it's really good. Um, to answer your fourth question, I squids all the way, man. I mean, fuck Yamcha. He's just a, he's just a punk ass. He still tries to get with Bulma after she's with Vegeta. You know what I mean? What a, what a punk ass. Um, to answer your fifth question, unfortunately, I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I would have to go with Little Wayne. I don't know. Um, to answer your sixth question, I would probably rape Chi Chi. And to answer your seventh question, my favorite number is probably, probably four. Yeah, I'll probably say four. But, uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from Juan Diaz. Hey, Alex, thanks for answering my questions. I really appreciate it. I think you should have at least 500,000 subscribers. Damn, I wish I had that many. Because uh, you really put a lot of effort into your videos, and I respect your work. Uh, keep it up, man. Question one. I may be wrong. Do you think that in Black Friday, will the consoles, both PS4 and Xbox One, be a little cheaper on Black Friday? Question two. This may be hard, but did you think it was stupid for Superman beating Goku in the, in the death battle? Because... I said, what the fuck, how can Superman fight SS3 Goku and SS4 Goku without suffering damage? They even forgot about Goku turning Saiyan God, and there's no way that Superman can defeat a Saiyan God because he is a god. Uh, one day, Goku may control Saiyan God in the future. Question three, uh, do you think it would be true about Vince, oh yeah, about Vice President Mitt Romney being a racist because I heard on the news he wants to deport all immigrants back to their countries and leave America to white people? Question four, do you think that President Barack Obama ain't doing shit in America? Because I'm not seeing any changes in this country. P.S. I am not a racist. P.S.S. Fuck you, squid. Um, to answer your first question, uh, I don't believe that they might be cheaper. I mean, um, you know, what if they drop on Black Friday? You know what I mean? There's no fucking way these things are going to be cheap. Um, there's going to be a lot of riots and a lot of, you know, mass unrest for these things, but you know that that's what it is i mean it's it's quite sad to see but uh to answer that question no i don't think they're going to be cheap at all um to answer your second question i i i know exactly what you mean because i said the same thing i was like since when did fucking goku ever use a power pole when he was a super saiyan you know what i mean that shit made no fucking sense you know so um the only reason why they didn't do a super saiyan god was because uh this was before battle of gods so yeah um but that whole fight was just uh, a big shabacle. It was just terrible. Um, thank God I'm gonna do my own. And when you see that, just wait for it because it's gonna be pretty darn accurate. Um, to answer your third question, uh, Mitt Romney. Um, hmm. I'm trying to think here. Is he really a racist? Because there was this one advertisement. Um, honestly. I, I do believe he might be a racist because uh, he was definitely sexist toward women. Um, but could he have been a full, you know, blown racist? Probably not. I mean, I'm sure he was deep down a racist, but uh, I mean, eh, but, but by him saying you know deport or deport all immigrants into you know their countries, then yeah, that that's pretty darn racist. But um, in terms of his campaign and everything like that, you know, you have to appeal to the people, but. I'm sure deep down Mitt Romney is a racist, uh, but I didn't hear about your little quote that you just said um, about him deporting all immigrants back to their countries. I mean, if you can find me the link to that, I want to I want to read it or watch it. That's pretty fucking interesting. Damn you, Mitt Romney. Uh, and to answer your final question, Obama isn't doing shit. It's true. 
Um, just, I mean, look, look what he's doing. He's having White House parties, and he's hanging out with fucking Miami Heat basketball players, and he's playing basketball in his yard, and he's fucking flying overseas and shit. You know, like what happened to all the promises you promised us in 2008 and in 2012? You know, Barack Obama is just full of fucking shit. This guy did not fucking capitalize on anything he promised. And that's what I think is really fucked up. Because if you're going to promise something, why not deliver it? So, but thank you for your question, man. On to our next question, which is from Marvin and Mark. Thanks for answering my mail. I shared that video to family and friends, especially to the people who uh, who said childish, lol. Oh, God. Uh, I wish you could have saw their faces when they watched it since it was too funny. Also, I do agree on some YouTubers that don't give away to their fans. Like, I gave away uh, auto seniors tickets and go hang out with my friends and family, Mike, who does YouTube with me, and we're not big. Uh, before I get into the questions, I just want to say thanks for the ideas. They will be put in the next videos. And from your comment, I got five more subscribers, so thank you from that. Anyways, question time. You're welcome, my friends. See, I told you. I told you I watch you guys' stuff. I'm telling you guys, you never know when I'm watching your stuff. Sometimes I may not say something. Sometimes I do. But often than not, if I like it, I'll say something. Uh, but sometimes I just want to see what you'll do if I don't say something. Because I want to see more stuff. I want to see more footage from some of you guys. So I just want you guys to be persistent, be accurate, uh, and just strike with precision, you know, make the best videos you can. All right, question one. If you joined the big leagues in wrestling and you do your first match at WrestleMania and they didn't tell you you were going, wait, who you were wrestling, and when you got in the ring you saw Goku as your opponent, how would you feel? Question two, do you watch NHL? If so, who do you think will win the Stanley Cup? Question three, for uh, ZQ2, I got the game and I heard you say that you're a really tough opponent on it and I like challenges, so I was wondering if you could tell me what server you play on so I can go on. Thanks. I'll go, up, I'll go up against you. Uh, thanks for answering the questions. Uh, if you have a chance, like me, I'm really busy at YouTube and my job, so thanks a lot. P.S. Fuck you, Yamcha! Fuck you, Yamcha! Rami! Fuck you! Alright, um, <laughs> to answer your first question, if I legitly had a stand with a person who was dressed up as Goku, um... Personally, for me, I would just laugh. I, I wouldn't take it serious. But if it was, like, the actual Goku Goku, like, animated Goku, like, real life, I'm gonna turn into a Super Saiyan and take a shit on your face kind of Goku, then yeah, I would be scared for my life because no matter what I do, this guy would not get hurt. No matter what I would try to do, this guy would just completely decimate me. Um, to answer your second question, I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep it honest with you, man. I don't watch hockey. Um, I haven't watched it since I was about, what was it, seven or eight? Um, I used to be a big fan of the Rangers, and then I just completely just died out on hockey. Um, I know there's a lot of hardcore NHL fans, and uh, I mean, NHL hockey... It's not bad for me to get into. I would like to try to see if I can get into it somehow, you know, currently, uh, you know, at the age of 21. Why not, you know? But uh, for me, I can't really say because I don't really watch hockey. So, uh, and to answer your last question, uh, as for ZEQ2, I haven't been on the game for a while. I've been doing so many other things. I'm going to try my best to get on as soon as I can. Um, but when I do, um, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to try to let you guys know. But, I mean, if I had to pick a day... Uh, probably later on today. I mean, you don't know that. I mean, I don't know that either. So, I mean, let's just see. Let's just see if I have time on my hands, number one, because this, this is already going to be a long-ass fan mail. And for those of you that are watching this up until this point, please know that I'm not going to answer every single question because, number one, my ass hurts. Number two, I, I don't have any beverages near me, so it's like I can't really rejuvenate my voice. Um so on and so forth, and, and, and also I don't have a mic so I can lay down and just do these questions off the back of my head, um, but I do apologize, but I try so hard, guys, sometimes answering just 20 questions alone can take 20 fucking thousand hours, you know what I mean, but uh, thank you for your question, man, on to the next question, which is from Christopher Rivera, what's up, Alex, I've been subscribed to your channel for a few months now, and I can honestly say you've become my favorite YouTuber of all time, wow, really? That, that's freaking awesome, man. Thank you so much. Uh, I have a few questions to ask you today, and I promise no DBZ. Question one, uh, what do you think lies in heaven? I know it's supposed to be a paradise and safe place for all, but what... Wait, but what are all the various in the person? For example, to some people, a safe place may be playing video games all day or drawing till their hands fall off. Uh, so do you think heaven is... Heaven is changed into your personal paradise or God's version of paradise. Question two, who in your opinion are your top five badass characters in video games today? And question number three, 
Uh, what do you think are some great comics to read from both Marvel and DC? That's all I have for you today. Keep up rocking, brother. I hope you never change. God bless you, dude. P.S. Fuck you, Yamcha. Fuck you, Squares. Fuck all the haters, number one. Team Alex, all the fucking worry. All right, um... To answer your first question, uh, Jesus Christ, this is actually, uh, this is always a misconstrued. A lot of people often say, well, when you die, you're gonna burn in a pit of fire. And when you go to heaven, you're just gonna sit in the clouds and relax. No, man, it's just, it's a giant misconstrued. Um, in my opinion, this is just my opinion. So, if anybody out there wants to bash me for it, you're fucking stupid, because this is, this is just my opinion. Everybody has an opinion, so I'm entitled to mine. This is my opinion. Hell could be anything, right? Um, granted, in the Bible, it depicts a place, a very dark and lonely place full of just billions and billions of lost souls, burning in eternity, torture, just gnashing of teeth, you know, bugs everywhere. It's just the most awful place to be, right? So in my, like, in my opinion, I believe that hell is a very, very dark place. There is no light in hell. Um, there is no, you know, justification for it. I believe that hell is just every single thing that is, you know, unhuman, you know, that lurks down there. For example, torture to like the freaking a millionth degree. Um, you know, fire, fire that pretty much burns your skin. I, I actually, you know what, if any one of you out there can just take a lighter, right? Or take some sort of, you know, uh, hot materialistic object and just burn yourself for a minute. Picture that times 10 billion, right? That That's what I feel like is down there, you know? They, like, when you, when you feel like you spray something hot on you and, you and you burn for a second, you're like, ooh, ouch. You know, picture that times 100 million down there. Um, as for heaven, I don't believe that heaven is sitting around all day eating grapes and flying around. I believe that in heaven, it's paradise because it's peaceful, love. Um, nobody hates each other, nobody's envious, nobody has pride, nobody is greedy, nobody is selfish, nobody is full of anger, nobody, nobody's lusting over each other, you know, I believe that heaven is a place where everybody can legitimately get along and just, you know, be with their families and their friends and just do the most basic of things, but I also, for some weird reason, believe that God has a little job for you up there, not in the terms of, like, working-wise, but there has to be a, a more... There has to be more of a bigger purpose, you know, in the afterlife than what than what it naturally seems like. Um, for example, me, if I were ever to die, which I know I am, and if I were to go to heaven, which I hope I am going to, um, I would like to ask God to be a warrior. And what I mean by that is I want to serve as one of God's warriors. Like, I would want to be, you know, one of God's mighty angels, you know, possibly an archangel, but I know that's never going to happen. But I, I want to, you know, fight for the Holy Spirit of God and... You know, all that is good. At least for me. Because, you know, it, if it ever came down to it and, and fucking somehow the pit of hell opened up and I saw a bunch of demons come out and, and Satan himself, I would fucking just pull a Vegeta or Goku and I'd go down there and I'd fucking, even though I'd probably lose, but I, I, like you guys get the picture, you know? Um, but for me, heaven is paradise at its fullest, but who knows? I mean, it could be, it could be anything, you know? It's just like not even your imagination can just topple when it's over there you know so uh to answer your second question top five badass characters uh, i don't have a top five but uh if i can name some off the back of my head Voss from uh far cry 3 um general rom off of uh gears of war uh shalashatska revolver from metal gear he was always a badass um who else the arbiter back in like halo 1 halo 2 days i think he was pretty badass as well um another badass character why am i naming villains um, all right, if I had to name one hero, then I would I would have to pick, uh, who would I have to pick as a hero? Uh, badass, in, in general, I would have to say probably Starkiller from Force Unleashed, because he was pretty badass, he was holding his own. Um, and to answer your last question, go read the Civil War comics from Marvel. Uh, it was just, oh my god, like the Civil War with Captain America and Iron Man, and oh my goodness, possibly the greatest comic book I've ever read in my entire life, but uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from Blade of the Phoenix 26. Hey Alex, I am pretty much recent subscriber, and I have to say that you're truly the greatest YouTuber there is. You inspire us all to make better videos. Now on to the questions. Thank you, man. Uh, question one on Namek, when they wish back everyone who killed Frieza, why wasn't the whole Saiyan race brought back? 
Frieza is the one that blew up the planet after all. What are your thoughts? Question two, uh, which one of po which one of the Pokemon games are your favorite and why? Question three, I just heard about the Xbox One. What is it and what are your thoughts on it? Question four, if you can make a new Dragon Ball Z saga, uh, what would it be about? Question five, what is the purpose of that little bitch pen? Question six, would you rather watch Dragon Ball Z with Yamcha as the main character or would you rather... Would you watch it with Bill Cosby as the main character? Gotta pick one, bro. That's it for today, I guess. Uh, P.S. Fuck you, Squids! Fuck you, Wales! Fuck Dragon Ball GT! And P.S. S.S.S.S.S. I am new to YouTube, so I'm trying to get my channel popular. Maybe you can spread the word for me. Be sure to check it out. Alright, guys. Go check out the Blade of Phoenix 26! What is that? Old man use the headbutt. Right, is that a kid with a skateboard? Oh, this, isn't, this ain't gonna end well. Alright, to answer your first question, um... I do believe that, that that's another plot hole for Dragon Ball Z. Um, they didn't really fully explain that one. I mean, I was left scratching my head as well. But, I mean, what, what, what could we do? Um, for me, I believe that I, I think what they meant was the people that were killed by Frieza in, in, the, in the day that they were there. You know what I mean? Not, you know, in, in its entirety. Um, to answer your second question, best Pokemon or one of my favorite Pokemon games and why... Besides the originals, gold, silver, red, and yellow, um, I would have to say Diamond. Diamond was really good. I actually fucking loved Diamond so much. Diamond was like one of those games where I freaking... That, that was pretty cool. When I got it back a couple years ago, I was just all into it. Uh, to answer your third question, what is the Xbox One? I pretty much made a couple of videos, uh, you know, announcing some of its uh, functions and some of its capabilities. So if you might want to have some time on your hands, check those videos out. I will answer all of your questions in those videos uh to answer your fourth question i answered this so many times but i'm gonna answer it one more time uh it would be about the continuation of goku and vegeta and the z fighters trying to pursue bills Whis, and the 12 gods to answer your fifth question uh i don't think there is a pur <laughs> i don't think there is a purpose for that little bitch pan because she's just a whiny little bitch so i mean what can you do she don't she's she's she doesn't do anything useful for the love of god she just said the grandpa grandpa um and to answer your last question, definitely Bill Cosby, because at least he would be funny. Can you imagine, like, because he always does those weird-ass noises, like, why are you, what you gonna do when I go to the bar? It's like, can you imagine if, like, Bill Cosby was about to fight, like, fucking Kid Boo or Cell? He'd be like, I'm about to go super saiyan on your ass. Uh, it would just be so funny. Um, meanwhile, Yamcha would be like, oh, Wolf Fang Fist, oh, I'm gay. So, uh... That pretty much sums up that. But thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from my leg in 9210. What up, man? The word... Wait. What up, fam? From... What? What up, fam? The word, bruh, got older from... What? Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. Anyways, question one. <laughs> uh, what do you think about Curtis Axel Monday? Question two. Do you think the death penalty is right? Why or why not? Question three. On one of your fan mails, I can't remember which one, but a person said that they were he was an atheist and you want and he wanted to become a Christian. You said something about how you would rather die and believe than die and wait wait. Than die and believe than not believe and die. Can you explain that again? Question four, did you go see Fast and Furious Six? Question five, why is masturbation a sin when it's normal to do if a guy does it? And it doesn't lust or anything. It just means that he's a sin. All right, question six. Your personal opinion, do you think ghosts are real? Yeah, if since you're a Christian, you're probably thinking, well, when you die, you either go to heaven or hell. I think that too, but I just want to know if you think they are real and why or why not. Question seven. I've been hearing news about the new Dragon Ball Z series, but it hasn't been confirmed yet. What are your thoughts on this? Well, those are my questions. And like I always say, keep up the good work, fam. And uh, got much love and respect for you, P.S. Fuck you, well, fuck you, squid. All right, thank you, man. To answer your first question, Curtis Axel. Oh, my God, Michael McGiddy-Cuddy. <laughs> McGiddy-Cuddy, do you hear me? Um, Just let's just see what, he's, what he does. I mean, I, I kind of missed out on that until toward the end. Um, Curtis Axel, he just... He just doesn't sound, eh. I mean, I could be wrong about the guy, but Curtis Axel, I mean, let's just see how that goes. My thoughts on it, Paul Heyman's the right guy to, you know, be working with him right now, so he might get far. Um, to answer your second question, the death penalty, <clears throat> I, I believe that it's wrong to a certain degree, um, you know, unless, like, you, you know, molested and raped 20 innocent children and, you know, just dismembered them and ate their organs, then, yeah, I think you should have the death penalty right away. But if you killed somebody out of self-defense or maybe even, you know, I can't believe I'm saying this, but even if you wanted just to kill them, 
that's just rash. Death penalties are meant for people who are just over the line. You just completely are not meant for this world. Uh, to answer your third question, what I meant by what I said during that fan mail was this. I would much rather die believing in God, and then if I die, you know, and there is no God, I can just, you know, say that I was wrong, rather than just die not believing in God, and then to find out that there is a God, and, you know, for me to be wrong the entire time, and then, I mean, what, what, what can I possibly say to him, you know, on the other side when he asks me, why didn't, why didn't you ever place your faith in me? What am I going to say? Oh, I just, I, just scientists and you know, fucking people, you know, it's just, it's too late by then, but, um. What I mean by that is it doesn't hurt to have faith. I don't understand why a lot of people tell me or just like to say, Oh, you just you don't believe in a man in a magical sky is a spaghetti monster. Where the hell did the whole spaghetti monster thing come from? I understand people are like, Oh, you believe in a flying man in the clouds. Oh motherfucker, like who are you to speak? Were you around in the last six thousand years? Like do you know what's been going on in society, you know, for the last six thousand years? Do you know anything? No, so shut your fucking mouth. Um, you know, my faith will never be tested because I know where I stand, so uh, to answer your fourth question, yes, I did. And all I'm going to say right now is there's going to be a Fast and Furious 7. Spoiler alert, Jason Statham is in the movie, okay? That's all I'm saying. Uh, to answer your fifth question, why it's a sin is because uh, it's be- it's seen as being lustful. You're, being, you're, you're lusting after women. And uh, that's just simply by saying, you know, I want to fuck, you know, and that just ultimately leads to uh, adultery and, you know, all that kind of stuff. So that's why. Uh, to answer your sixth question, I do, well, ghosts. Um, I mean, I do believe in demons, but ghosts, perhaps, to a certain extent. Um, definitely not like the Casper ghost like you freaking see on TV and whatnot. But uh, uh, I, I do believe that some ghosts may manifest themselves and become something more out of the norm. But uh, often than not, I mean, I'm one of those guys where... I would love to see a ghost, you know, physically rather than just see it on TV or something like that. Because that's always been one thing I've always wanted to see. Uh, to answer your last question, what am I? Well, your last question. Uh, what are my thoughts on that? Um, my thoughts on it are: I hope that they get the ball rolling sooner than later, because Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods is real hot right now. Um, everybody's digging it. You know, it's just it's it's a great thing to uh, to have. So if they miss out, if if they really miss out on this opportunity, then they fucked up big time. Because if they actually fucking listen to their fans, they would make a series. Akira Toriyama, please make a series. <laughs> but thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from Wax Lamp. What up, man? I love what you do. I got a Dragon Ball Z question and one deep ass combo for you. All right, here we go. Question one: Do you think Super Saiyan God was a false one, like Lord Slug? Everybody always says that, man. I mean, I, sometimes I wonder it myself, but here we go. Uh, question two. What is your opinion on this statement? You say that there is a possibility that aliens do exist, which could be true, but the Illuminati plans to stage an alien attack after a great unrest to bring the new world or to bring the world or government together. For uh, Well, a.k.a. the new world order. I know exactly where you're coming from. I, I already know about all this. Question three, uh, people think the Bible talks about aliens. I disagree. I think it's all a part of a social programming and the devil planned to destroy the Bible without burning it. What do you think? Question four, what is your opinion? I watched several YouTubes, well, YouTube videos, including John Todd. I perfect guy to watch. And uh, alien researchers that believe that all UFO and alien sightings are demon and spirits and product of the rituals. Yes, I, 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 I trust me, dude. Everything that you're saying right now, I already researched on and came to my own conclusions my bad only i just had to ask these crazy ass questions and get your thoughts they're not really crazy at all dude trust me i i did research on this last year um to answer your first question super saiyan god uh, i mean damn it i i really want to believe that it is a false form because it's just way too out of control for goku to handle you can clearly see that in the freaking movie um but could it be a false form? I hope so. Um, I hope that Goku eventually learns to how to unlock this form and pretty much, uh, you know, goes goes further with his power and just like has like a different transformation, sort of say. Um, but for me, I really do hope that it's a false look. Um, if it's not, then I guess we're gonna have to bear with that, right? Uh, to answer your second question, um, 
I do believe that, but the question is when. Um, I feel like before the government plans to do an alien false flag attack, I do believe that we're going to have World War Three before that happens. Um, I mean, if you have to think about it, you have to think about it like this. If the government were to do that, they would create problem reaction solution, which is very smart on their look because they create the problem, we react to it, and then ultimately they come up with the solution. Um, a false flag alien attack, uh, it, it, it would work because not a lot of people know about what's going on uh, with Area 51 and with John Todd and Bill Cooper and Mark Dice and Alex Jones and, you know, uh, you know Von Schmidt, all these people that pretty much came out and just like, spoke out about what's going on you know especially with aliens and um i do believe that they're preparing for something like that um but i disagree with the beginning um and the beginning says you said that there is a possibility no there is no possibility it is a fact you just think about our universe think about the multiverse theory think about our galaxy alone right our galaxy has billions of planets for, for us to be the only ones, that is just absurd, man. Like, that is just like, that's like saying, hey, I'm the only person on this planet. It's just fucking retarded because there's 7 billion of us, right? Um, to answer your, your third question, this is this is what it is. Look, um, the devil's or Satan's ultimate plan, Lucifer's ultimate goal is to make sure that people don't believe in God and don't believe in the devil either. Um, that's Lucifer's ultimate goal is to get people to think that God's not real, that him himself as Satan isn't real. He wants to get people to think that heaven isn't real, hell isn't real. Uh, do what thou willeth. That's basically Aleister Crowley's quote, um, biggest Satanist, biggest Illuminati member I've, I've, I've ever seen. Um, he documented many, many books you know, claiming that he wanted to, you know, drink the blood of children and murder people and all that kind of just commit mass genocide. And it's absurd, you know what I mean? Um, but from my stance, from my points of views in life, I say fuck Lucifer, you know, fuck him, just fuck the devil. Um, there are temptations in this world, just don't seek into them. Um, fear not nobody nor anything but God. Um, you know, it, that that's ultimately Satan's goal is to make sure that this planet dies. And this planet is dying. Think about it, guys. I mean, even if you're not re religious, right? Think about it like this. The pollution that's in our atmosphere, the pollution that's in our water, the pollution that's in our streets, uh, GMOs, uh, you know, we have fluoride in our water, chemtrails in our skies. We have cancers and plagues and viruses and flus and, and all sorts of nasty stuff. People are dying left and right. They're dying of natural causes. They're dying of starvation. They're dying of dehydration, genocide, murder, you know, rape. There's people, you know, committing, you know, massive amounts of civil unrest. There are women being raped. There are women that are having sex with tons of men and men having sex with tons of women creating babies. Therefore, babies having to be aborted and killed. Mothers and fathers killed brothers and sisters murder genocide all over suicide everywhere people can't bear to see what's going on nor they can they live they commit suicide and it's just do you really think we're living on a on, on a nice little planet where everybody's getting along i don't think so man um to answer your last question uh you know i i do believe that po it's a possibility that the ufos and all this sh all, all the stuff you see in the sky may be uh demonic um, but at the same time, we are people, you know, um, in the Bible, it, it, it did state a few things about aliens. They just never called it aliens, nor did they call it flying saucers and stuff like that. Um, it's, it's, it's hidden messages, subliminal. And, uh, like to me, in order for you to grasp that and in order for you to understand, you have to dig deeper than what you see and what you have now. It, it, that's what I'm trying to say. But, uh, thank you for your questions, man. Oh my god, guys. I, I am dying here without any freaking fluid in my system. I can't believe it. Alright, on to the next question, everybody, which is from Yoshi Bat. Hey Alex, I have some questions for you. Question one. Can you show us the chair that you sit the well you spelled sit and you wrote set and um Question two. What what a movie wait, what's a movie that scared the shit out of you when you were a child? Question three. 
Uh, do you think one day Sony and Microsoft will ever team up? That'd be great. Question four. In the game Dying Light, what do you think DLCs are going to be like? Question five. Uh, what do you think the online play is going to be like in Dying Light? How many players do you think they could play together? Question six. How are you doing today? Question seven. What do you think of the PS4? Question eight. Can you say RIP to my granddad? His name is Will William. P.S. I heard you say nigga before. And I don't like it, JK. And I was born and raised in ghetto-ass neighborhoods, nigga. So I can say that shit anytime I want, homie. Not me, nigga. No, I'm just playing. Um, well, I wasn't playing about that. I was just, I'm just joking when I say nigga. I mean, I, I, I used to say that a lot when I was hanging out with the boys. But, you know, I'm not like that no more. So, all right. To answer your first question, uh, possibly I might take a picture one day and, and just show you guys. This chair is fucking horrible, man. It's just like it's so uncomfortable. And it's just maybe it's because I'm too big for the chair. You know, I don't know. Uh, to answer your second question, what was one movie that scared the shit out of me when I was a kid? Probably Leprechaun. When I remember when I was a kid, I used to be terrified of Leprechaun. And uh, every time he used to show up on the screen and, you know, go, I want me go. Like, I was like, oh, my God. That was just terrifying for me. Uh, to answer your third question, do I believe Sony and Microsoft will ever team up? Uh, no, absolutely not. They're two different companies, two juggernaut companies. They're two very... Uh, distinct companies that are very similar but also have their own differences there is no way that they will ever come forward and just team up um, ever so to answer your fourth question in dying light the DLCs I do believe that I mean I can't really say because I, I, I know that they're gonna have more maps obviously but or maybe a, a much bigger uh, you know weapons you know inventory but um, for me to say, I can't really say right now because we, we haven't even seen any footage yet. Um, I showed you guys pictures in a brief article, but we haven't seen any pictures yet. So who, who, are, who are we to say? Uh, to answer your fifth question, what do I think online is going to be like in Dying Light? I do believe that there might be co-ops. So you might be playing with like two or three buddies um, and trying to survive that. Uh, as for multiplayer, um, hmm, that's kind of tricky because how are you going to do multiplayer unless there's two teams in like a giant free roam region and pretty much everybody's trying to survive and the last team that survives wins right that'd be a pretty good game uh to answer your sixth question how am i doing today i'm doing pretty good except my voice is starting to kill me right now because i'm not drinking anything and this chair is messing up my back and it's really sunny outside from what i'm looking at right now and uh I want to be outside, but instead I'm doing this for you guys. Uh, to answer your seventh question, what do I think of the PS4? Brilliant console, superb. It's going to be great. Xbox One, PS4, I'm getting them both. And I'm going to get a lucky subscriber a copy, uh, well, a copy of a model of the PS4. So, uh, And to answer your eighth question, rest in peace, Mr. Granddad. Wilson, I apologize. My condolences, my friend. You have to take it easy and you have to be there for your family. But uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question, which is from King Slammer. Question one: Who had the best DBZ death? Goku, Cell Saga, or Vegeta, Boo Saga? Question two: What Boo is your favorite? Uh, nine can include. Oh uh, wait, well can include Super Boo Fuse. Okay. Uh, question three: If you had a choice to, if you had a why, why, if you had a choice to design, choose, oh, choose. Sorry. Well, you wrote choice. Why'd you put choice? It's choose. If you had to choose the design of the Xbox One or PS4, which would you design and why? Question four, how tall are you? Question five, do you consider yourself a fast runner? Question six, do you think sports stars are overpaid? Uh, to answer your first question, definitely Vegeta. Um, I feel like Vegeta, well, actually, best death. If you're counting it as a noble death, then Goku, because he pretty much saved everybody by taking Cell away. But if you want to call it like uh, a selfish, well, not selfish, what the hell is selfish? Selfless uh, reason then it's definitely Vegeta because he did it to rid himself of all the evil in his heart and whatnot. Um, to answer your second question, what is my favorite Boo? Definitely regular Super Boo and definitely Kid Boo. Those two are my absolute favorites because they're just, they look sick. They look maniacal and they look crazy. Um, to answer your third question, it would have to be the Xbox um, just simply because I've been rocking with the Xbox for like a decade now. Uh, PlayStation 1 and 2 as well. I've been rocking that since I was a kid. I'm a fan of both. So I'm not really going to sit here and bash both companies. But if I would, if I had to pick one, I'd say uh, Microsoft. I mean, just to improve. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I, I'd pick Sony as well. I'd pick PS4 as well. But, I mean, I can only, I can only pick one. So uh, to answer your fourth question, how tall am I? I am six foot one and a half. That's pretty big. 
Question five, do I consider myself a fast runner? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'm a fast runner, but I'm not like a beastly fast runner. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I do think I'm fast. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not nowhere near slow either. I mean, I'm pretty fast. Um, I do a lot of cardio, um, in gym and in wrestling. So that pretty much works. And, uh, to answer your last question, do I think sports stars are overpaid? No, I don't. But I do believe Floyd Money Mayweather is way overpaid because he makes about $90 million a year. And he only has, like, fucking two fights. Explain that shit to me. Somebody please explain that shit to me right now. I mean, because that's some bullshit. But, uh, thank you for your question, man. On to the next question. Which is from Eddie Exact. Hey Rogan, Alex, haha, pardon me to, for the background my last week. You're such a smart guy. Nice to see you're working hard with the YouTube. And yes, Goku and Vegeta versus Bills and Weiss in the game. I can't wait. Time to bust a couple of questions, dog. Oh, God. More questions. All right. Question one. When was the last time you... Wait. When was the last time you did exactly what you wanted to do? Oh, okay. Question two. Can you describe your ideal day? Question three. Who who's the one person that always makes you smile? Question four: What what's your happy song, etc.? Can't help but smiling when you hear it. Uh, question five: What's on your list of things you do want you do want? Well, things I want to do before I die, pretty much. Uh, question six: If you can eat one thing for a month, what would it be? Squids, maybe. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> question seven: uh, How would you describe the taste of chicken? Don't say it tastes like chicken. <laughs> uh, question eight do you skype or chat with any of your fans when you're not gaming keep it up i look forward to more fan mail every week and gameplays thank you man um to answer your first question uh what was when was the last time i did exactly what i wanted to do um i would probably say uh, what was it damn i mean i work so fucking hard I, i'm like a workhorse man i don't know when was the last time i had a good time um I would say probably, probably during the winter, cause like I really didn't want to go to work and it was snowing like shit, so I just pretty much called out and I just sat home the entire day and I just slept. That's all I did was sleep. I needed to catch up on my sleep. I did too much let's plays, too many gameplays and stuff like that, so I had to keep up on my on my on my sleep. Otherwise, I was gonna freaking die. But yeah, uh, to answer your second question, what is my ideal day? All right, this is my ideal day. Waking up at like 8 in the morning, right, and staying up all the way till like 5 in the morning without being tired, but at the same time, throughout the entire day, it's a hot summer day with the AC on, uh, no no clouds, no rain, bright, sunny, uh, being with friends throughout the day, going to the beach, um, after that, hanging out in the night, possibly going out in the city, going to the club, chilling with everybody, coming in, coming out, music bumping everywhere, uh, get in the car, just drive around. Uh, perhaps maybe just, uh, maybe go to a lounge or something and then just later on in the night, come home, you know, dim the lights a little bit, have that AC on blast, window curtains open so you can look into the bright moon, it's dark outside, it's hot, you have that mystique atmosphere just laying there playing your games and then just maybe turning off your game for a little bit, watching something on TV and then just eventually passing out, waking up the next day and doing it all over again. That's my ideal day. Uh, to answer your third question, who's the one person that can put a smile on my face? Uh, that also goes to say who's that one person that can put a fucking evil, like, just maniacal devil look on my face? It's my mom. She makes me smile, and she makes me want to kill her at the same time. Um, but that's what moms are for, man. I mean, they're there for you. They make you happy, and they piss you off. So, uh, But besides friends, uh, her name is Tati. Um, I, haven't spoke to, I haven't spoken to Tatiana in really long, but she, she really made me day. One more time by Maroon Five, I guess. I mean, shit. Uh, question five: What is my on the list to do things before I die? Uh, I want to do everything, man. I mean, I know I'm gonna die one day. Big whoop! I mean, hoo hoo. You're gonna die. I'm gonna die. Our parents are gonna die. Our friends are gonna die. All the strangers we see around us are gonna die. We're all gonna die. Um, but what matters most is the legacy we leave behind. And uh, I want to do a lot of things, but number one, I want to help people because I want I want people to look back and say, hey. This guy didn't just die, you know, just a regular guy. He died helping people. He died a good man. He died, you know, raising a family. He died, you know, helping the community and all that stuff. And that's what I want to do. Um, there are so many things that I want to do, though. I, I, I definitely want to go uh, 
and learn how to swim. That's my fucking first thing. Uh, besides that, uh, have a family, have a house, have a car. I, fucking, th- this is what I hate, man. I'm 21 years old. I don't have a car because I, I choose not to have a car because of, I'm in a metropolitan area. So that means that there's trains and buses everywhere. Um, but at the same time, I do really want a car so badly. Um, and I, I might possibly have the money for it, but it's just the insurance. I don't get why all of these fucking insurance companies, they hate us. Like, all of these insurance companies hate us young people because they see us as being reckless drivers and we have a more plausible chance of getting into car accidents than anybody else. So they raise the insurance to, like, maybe a billion dollars and shit like that, and we can't even afford to pay for that. So so definitely having a car would be my fucking thing before I die. Uh, to answer your sixth question, if I can eat anything for a month, what would it be? Um, hmm. Probably T-bone steak for an entire month straight. I would not mind that, but since you're consuming meat, you probably get sick. Um, if I had to pick one thing, probably vanilla pudding. Oh, God. Or chocolate pudding. doesn't really matter. Just I'll fucking eat that for the rest of my fucking month. Uh, to answer your seventh question, how would I describe chicken? It I it tastes like like meaty, I guess. Like It tastes like, I, it tastes like bird, okay? I guess that's, that's what you want me to say. I mean, it's really hard to describe chicken. I mean, if you haven't ate chicken before, then, jeez, I, I, it's just, it's something I don't know how to describe, really. Uh, and to answer your eighth question, I will, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. When I'm not gaming, uh, then I am just either away, like from my home, I'm with my friends or whatnot, or I'm resting. Uh, I have spoken to a couple of subscribers via Skype here and there. Um, to name a few people, Jordan, Matthew. Uh, who else have I spoken to? I spoken to a few people online. So it, like you know, that that's only if you catch me online. Um, I you know if I if I'm on, you can send me an invite. If I don't if I don't accept your chat your Skype chat, then there's one of two things going on. I'm either very tired and I can't really speak because I'm so tired. I, I'm just on just to be on just to see what's going on, or. I'm doing a very important business inquiry or, or I'm talking to like maybe Paul about something very important or stuff or, or stuff like that. Other than that, if you want to talk to me, just go ahead. I mean, I'm, I'm just a regular Joe. Um, it's funny because sometimes when I go in Skype chats and I go to talk to some of you guys, um, you guys just start beginning to like you guys just throw so many questions at me. And it's just so like, whoa, it's like, holy crap, this is pretty cool. You know, it's just, it's just like it's it's really cool. Um, but thank you for your question, man. Holy crap, my voice is dying. On to the next question, which is from DJ Tyson 609 Hi, Alex. Hope you're doing good and keep up the good. You do the best. Now on to the questions. Question one, how much do you think the PS4 and Xbox One will cost when they come out later on this year? Question two, do you think it's possible that Super Saiyan God is an ability like K.O. Ken, for example, how to use K.O. Ken in a base form? So you're pretty much saying like a, like a false form. Same question as the other guy. Question three. If anything, please answer this question. You have inspired me to start exercising again, and I have been eating right day by day, biking one hour per day. Uh, but there is one problem, and this is where I need your advice. You said that I need to give up on soda, but I'm having a bit of trouble giving that up. Can you give me some advice on how to do it? Trust me, I used to be the exact same way. Coca-Cola and Sprite was, was my fucking shit, bro. I used to drink that shit a lot, but I'll tell you why it's bad, and this is why I stopped. Uh, anywho, those are my questions of the week, and if you don't answer, I'll understand. Once again, you're a great YouTuber, and God bless you, man. Thank you. God bless you, too. Fuck you, Squared, and fuck you, Team Paul T. I just win. All right, to answer your, fir- oh, your first question, uh, I, I believe that the Xbox One and PS4 might cost between $399 and $499. Um, I don't think they're going above $500, and I, I don't think they're going below $300. Uh, to answer your second question, like I answered in the, in the previous one, the previous guy that asked me before, uh, I do believe it might be an ability... Um, a false form, sort of say it can't. It, it it just can't be the actual full form. It can't be because in the movie he looked like he was just so discombobulated and he didn't know what he was doing because the form felt so strong that Goku was never used to anything like that. So, and to answer your last question, this is why you should give up soda. Listen to me very carefully. Number one, you do know that drinking too much soda will cause you to start pissing out gallstones one day, right? I'm just you can go look that up. Um, it pretty much accumulates over a, a massive amount of time, and uh, you'll start pissing little gallstones, and those shits hurt. Um, I never pissed any myself, but 
Um, what soda also does for you is it, it fucks up your blood, man. It fucks up your entire body um, because you're intaking so much sugar and you're intaking so much of those products. Remember, we don't even know what's inside some of these products anymore. Um, they never revealed the formula for Coca-Cola or Sprite or Pepsi. So, I mean, we're taking in a lot of aspartame for one. Um, that really much can, that, that can fuck you up in the long run because that can give you diabetes in the future. You can definitely get diabetes, um, if you drink too much soda. Um, the best thing for you to do, dude, I, I know this may seem hard, but listen to me. Uh, drink water, lots and lots of water, like cold water, not no bullshit warm or like some mid cold water. Drink ice cold water. Um, a lot of it too, because number one, it's good for your blood. It, it delivers oxygen in your blood. Number two, all of that excess fat that's around your, your belly and waist and all that, that gets converted into water weight. Um, also water is good for your muscles. It gives your muscles oxygen and pretty much relaxes your muscles. Um, definitely also water, what it does for you is it breaks down a lot of nutrition. Well, in, in your stomach, at least it breaks down a lot of the, uh, the shit that you got in there. Um, water, water is an essential. It's very good because water can actually go get you really far. If, if you're having a hard time, like drinking ice cold water, um, what I would suggest for you to drink after that would be either orange juice, but orange juice is kind of bad for your teeth because of the acidic acids. Um, but orange juice is very good. Uh, but like, like I said, it has to be cold orange juice. Um, orange juice, ice cold water, uh, probably what is it? Uh, what the hell is that freaking drink called? Uh, pom pomegranate juice. That's really good, um, especially for your blood. And uh, I would say a little bit, well, not a little bit, but just some Gatorade here and there. But, dude, cut back on soda because if you don't, I'm telling you right now, you're going to see it in your blood pressure. You're going to see it in, in, in your future. And, God forbid, you develop diabetes or something. Then what? You know what I mean? But uh, thank you for your question, man. Ooh, man, an hour and a half of fan mail. Thank you all for watching this week's episode of Fan Mail of the Week, everybody. Again, I apologize if I did not answer your questions. Uh, as you can see, an hour and a half is enough uh, being here doing this for you guys. I will be back again next week. So uh, on that note, please give this video a like. Share this video to your friends and family. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Subscribe, and I will be seeing each and every one of you guys in the next episode. Guys, go check out Fast and Furious 6. Go watch Iron Man 3. Go watch Evil Dead. Go watch Pain and Gain. Probably best movies of the year so far. You guys are going to enjoy them. I'm going to go watch Fast and Furious 6 again with my friends. So uh, on that note, guys, I'll be seeing you all later. Peace out. Finally, I got this fucking chat.